Let's talk about the layers palette, a very important and powerful tool for organizing and helping you to work uh, more efficiently in um, working with your files. <clears throat> Think of the um, layers palette as like a deck of cards. And if the deck of cards um, was actually all pieces of acetate or each card was clear, uh, and you have different elements on different cards, you could um, change the stacking order by shuffling the cards and moving things that are in the front towards the back. And um, you can also uh, uh, use this process to move things from one layer or from one card to another card. And it's a very important way of working efficiently, I guess is the best way to say it. So here we go. Um, very powerful tool. First, we um, have the layers palette, so bring that up if uh, you uh, don't already have it in front of you. And we always start automatically with one layer. Um, and then we can modify those layers, we can add things to those layers, we can create new layers. So here are the basic tools. <clears throat> First off, we um, have each layer listed here, and we can name the layers uh, or rename them by simply clicking on the word in the palette, and that brings up what we call the layer options. And here I can uh, rename it or uh, do whatever I want and the idea is to put things on different layers in a logical manner um, and to name those layers in a logical manner so that you know what the heck is going on when you're working um, with your files which can start to get really complex and you have an awful lot of pieces parts and we want to isolate them and we want to lock them and do a variety of things that let us work more efficiently. Also, while I'm here, uh, note, notice that there's a color coding. Um, a color coding, every time you create a new layer, um, it's automatically color coded. I usually let the computer choose the colors. Uh, the point is that you'll see as we move on, in this case, things are on this layer are color coded in blue, and so when we see them highlighted, that is the same color associated with that layer. And so it's another visual way of keeping things organized and knowing where things are. So I can say OK. And um, we can always go back to that. You can do that partly from um, this little options button in the corner of our palette. We always have uh, the little options uh, button here. and one of the things that we have here is options and it'll bring us right back to the same spot but double clicking is a little bit quicker well what we have is um, first we have over here in the left you see the little eyeball the eyeball lets us turn things on and off notice um, that when I uncheck it or unclick it you see that piece of type disappears. It's still there, but we simply push it out of sight so that um, it uh, doesn't get in our way if we want to get to something behind it. So that's very useful um, and efficient. Another thing that we often want to do is we may want to lock, lock an element. You know, uh, we've been learning that generally when we want to select things, you click and drag. Well, um, it, when you do that, everything um, that's not locked down is going to become activated like this type as well as the heart and so um, by locking uh, some of the elements we can have them still visible but we can't accidentally move them or activate them or more or less have them get in our way and so in this little box next to the eyeball we can click and lock that element and now even if we want to, we cannot 
select it or activate it. Um, I can still select and activate these things on a different layer, but these words um, cannot be activated because that layer is locked. Okay. Then um, another aspect to layers is that every single individual element on a layer shows up as what we call a sublayer. You can see that they are indented and I got to those by clicking on the little gray triangle and turning it and then you see all of the individual pieces parts um, on that layer and each of them um, can be individually locked or made visible or invisible and uh, so you have that same control okay then um, uh, we have at the bottom of our layers palette um, a couple of important tools when we want to create a blank layer to work on or to duplicate a layer and everything that's on that layer we can drag it down to this little icon right here at the bottom of the layers palette that uh, little page icon and it duplicated that entire layer and everything that is on that layer okay so um, by dragging an existing layer down on top of that it will duplicate it we can also discard a layer by clicking and dragging it down to the little trash can and discard it okay so uh, we can do a number of uh, different tasks like that we also um, uh, can I mentioned it create a blank new layer by simply clicking the page icon here we are and we create a new blank layer okay so we can either duplicate a layer or we can create a blank layer all right and um, then what we have is this uh, issue of changing the stacking order of things I started out talking about how like a deck of cards we can do that and we can do that very easily notice that uh, this type is in front of the heart okay if I want to reverse that all I need to do is come over here and click on one of these layers and drag it to a different position and there you see the change the deal is is that the things at the top of the list are in the front and the things down towards the bottom or in the back uh, on the bottom are in the back and so that's sort of the stacking order of your cards and so by simply clicking and dragging these to rearrange them putting them above and below each other we can change the stacking order and that applies to either a full layer or we can do the very same thing um, with our sub layers as well change the stacking order by simply clicking an element and dragging it up to a new position and then letting go um, the one other area that sometimes comes in handy is moving an element from one layer to another layer so the way we would do that is let's say this piece of type right here I'll click on it to activate it and uh, a couple of things one is that I want to point out go down here and get this as a matter of fact this piece of type is all the way down here in the bottom so I'm going to drag it and and move it up um, higher in my list of sublayers and again we can do that very easily so by simply dragging it I'm changing the stacking order of those elements well um, I indicated that what I wanted to do here was move this word from this layer that it's on currently to a new layer a different layer 
And so all I need to do is once again click and drag it and I'll take it up to this new layer 3 and just drop it. And now it's on that layer. I, I know that by just checking the little eyeball. And I mentioned to you that when you select it, it's color coded. See, now this is green to coincide with this layer, which is green. 